What's up, Les? It is the Midnight Kid here, bringing you an exclusive Pez Universe series for Pez 2014. I'm joined with the Prestige. Well, lads. We're going to be going through the top 25 young players to buy in Pez 2014's Master League. So we're not going to mess around too much in this. We will start with number 25, work down to the top player. Top one. Yeah, that we think could be potentially a beast. A legend. Yeah, so... There's just a few of the few quick guys there teaser. to start as well, a teaser of who could be in it. But we'll start with number 25, and it is going to be Oriel. Remu? Yeah, Remau. 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 Whatever you want to call him. I just call him the Chelsea beast. The Chelsea dominator. Well, he looks to be a good player. He wasn't really that good in PES 2013, but I think this could be a good year for him. Just kick things off, really. Mourinho will instill the yeah. big values into him. He might. He's always a defensive midfielder, isn't he? He is. Number 24 is this guy, Coke, Atletico Madrid, Coca-Cola. Coke. Yeah, Coke or Coke, whatever you call him. And he is a fairly beast as well, and I think he'll be a good player to buy. Probably good, yeah. A little, he's probably, good last year, like, he, could be, he could be under the radar a little bit, you see, and then he just springs. Yeah. That's the type of player I like in Pez, it's guys that you don't really think of buying until he actually pops up and you buy him. And he's a legend, isn't he? He's a beast. He's class. Up next, this could be a controversial choice this far out, only number 23. Raheem. Raheem Sterling. Mr. Sterling. Could have been a bit higher, maybe. You think he could have been? I don't yeah, think so. I like him. He's good. I think he's good, but... He wasn't great last year, but... Yeah, but he's all, he's, all he's going to be is pace, like, really, isn't he? In nice pace. Feet. Yeah, he's good dribbler and stuff, he but... He's good Barry Centre now, so... He might have. You never know. You never know. But I don't think he could be that much higher, like, maybe, yeah. maybe, but if we're pushing it, maybe at a push we could, but... Up next, the man close to my heart, Sergio Canales. He is a beast. He's Valencia good, beast. Right. And I think that he could be a really good player as well. We had him on our list last year when we did the series on my channel of the list. And he was, I think he was way higher, but yeah. hasn't enjoyed the best season in La Liga this year. But I think he could be good stat-wise. Do you think he could be high 80s? No. Middle 80s? Say 82. 81 or 2 maybe, yeah. 82 and a half. And last but not least, number 21 and rounding off the first episode of this brand new series exclusive to Pez Universe, we have Willifred. Wilfried. Yeah. Wilfried Zaha. I call him Willy. I'd say he'd be good. Mm. I call him Frida. I think a lot of people would be giving out that we only put him number 21, but some yeah, people they say. I haven't seen who's to come though. Yeah, well, that's they'll true. To, they'll have to tune in. They'll have to tune in and see the next yeah, episode. He'll be, he'll be good though. Yeah, he's a good player, but I think. But would he start for United? He'll be easy by, you see, in Master because United won't probably start him, you know? Yeah. He'll be easy enough to get on a, on a snatch and grab deal, you know? What do you think his potential rate will be? Probably about 80. 85 or 6. No. No. 80. 81 or 2? No, 80. No? Alright. Well, seen as last year. 80. Seen as last year, Jack Wilshire was 87 or yeah, 85. Jack Wilshire's class. Yeah, that's true. So let's let us know in the comments below if you agree or disagree or if we missed anyone, but don't say too many people yet because we might have them closer on to the. There's 20 to come. There is 20 to come, yeah. So let's, that is it. I've been the Midnight Kid. I've been Prestige. And we'll talk to you later. Peace.